everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be exploring this guest house here. Gosh, apparently there's something here. It's a ghost. Alonzo Martinez. Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Um, huh. No, that's not it. Hmm. I must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes, and I don't have any sheet music either. If you can find my sheet music, I'd love to play you a song. Got Flying Hog 3. Well, God, I really want to run. It bothers me that every time I try to run, she's like, eh, eh. Can't look in there. Hmm. Nothing I can do there. The note. A lot of notes. Flying Hawk, four out of five. I can go up here, in the attic. Is it an attic? Yes it is. <laughs> Guess I can open that now. Sweet. There's really no point to doing that, huh? Alright, let's go to the... Oh, wait. Let's try this one, too. Nothing out there. Alright. Go upstairs into the attic. Perhaps there's something of use in here. Uh. Keep expecting it to move. It's not even like a full mannequin. Go through here. Buckets in the garden somewhere, apparently. I don't need it for this place. That would suck. Hmm? I got all the flying hog stuff now. And that's all she wrote in the attic. Not a whole lot. Plenty of house to cover still, though.
world. Gotta be a way through. Here we go. That's nice. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, got some sheet music. No, where to use that? It's my boy by the piano. Oh, thank you, Elena. Thank you. Situated into the basement. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. We must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Okay. This isn't right. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Oh god. He remembers falling? Dude, it has to be the well. Falling down a pit of despair. Fill down the well. Alright, let's go to the garden and find that bucket. Alright, let's go find our dad. Gotta find our way back to... Back to the garden. And then we gotta find the well. The well this way. The well's here. Thinking that's where our boy's gonna be. We gotta get our get back to the uh, garden first so we can get the bucket. Apparently that's where the bucket is. She said she left it in the garden. Must be here somewhere. Here. Take that bucket to the well. Put it here. There we go. Now we can enter the well. That's great. Just what I want to do. We're 
getting close, I can feel my body's presence nearby. Oh, man. This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Thank you for your help, Elena. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I can now finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. Sure, I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Bye, Elena. Okay, now we're going to the mansion? I don't know. So we go into the mansion now, assuming. I guess I don't need a key or anything. Hell, I don't know. This is all bizarre to me. Okay. New diary entry. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wandered this world for far too long. Just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him. He didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. And thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do it, but if it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. Yeah, we're gonna go find your dad. We gotta get into that mansion. Ah, chapter two, Wardham's Warrior. Mansion's pretty nice, actually. Hey look, I can go up there. Might as well. Gotta know. that for something. If I can move across. And I'll need that to go here. Okay. I think that's all I can do there. Should help me. Can I go in this room? Nope. Locked. Bummer. Who's that entering this mansion? You best be speaking with me first. Am I speaking with? Is that Darby? Are you Darby? There he is. Oh, it's just a wee lass. Wordham's me best mate. You won't be getting past me. You don't want to see the likes of you. Your wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. Do I need to find your wife then? Places decrepit as all get out. Your diary entry. Met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish, but I'm not quite sure. He don't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wordham. I think Wordham was the man who owned this mansion. Learned about him in school. He helped to create our town. 
I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. Okay. I think I should go this way since I put all that stuff down so I could walk this way. Someone here. Is that his wife? It is. I bet. I bet the mansion owner killed him. He will no longer protect him once he finds that out, so I'll be able to, uh, do my thing. Go past him. Okay, let's go. Oh. There we go. Now I should be able to go down there. I can't. Can I unlock the door with this? I don't know. Do with it. What the fuck? Why did that work all of a sudden? I don't understand. I've been trying to get that through a gap for like five minutes. And all of a sudden, it was just like, okay. That sounds good. We'll go through that gap now. Bullshit. Alright. Got over here. Cool. That. Oops. There we go. Damn it, I want to go up the stairs. There we go. Door is locked. Gap. hurt me if I walk past that thing? I don't know. I'm gonna do it regardless. I had to find down here.
letter from Wartrum? Jeremiah, I've sent this letter in secret. I need your help, as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran has died by my hand. His madness had overtaken his mind. Oh my god. He did kill him. I was right. Fucking right. Right. Ooh. Don't know what that was about. I was able to go past it though, so... There is that. As long as I was able to leave. That way. He's not gonna... block my way once I show him this letter. Ready to get your mind blown, Darby. What's this you brought me? No. No, they're lies, I tell you. Lies. Wartram wouldn't do this. Just trying to poison me against him. Poison, huh? We were having scotch last I remember, but it doesn't matter. Why don't you just leave me alone? Bugger off, little girl. Let me alone. Oh man, okay. Well, I'll go bother Claire then. That's fine. I think she's upstairs. Do I need to go back to the tool shed, apparently? Okay. Guess we're going to the tool shed. Wonderful. The tool shed we go. What time did she say? Oh no. I forgot. I, did I? Damn it, I'm gonna have to go ask her again. Shoot, I didn't think I'd have to actually remember. The specific time. I guess I don't need to go up there, just my spirit. Four o'clock, okay. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna end this episode. Jeremiah Mode. I ain't supposed to tell you, but Master Wardham asked for me help one night. I dug a grave for Mr. Darby. I kept it a secret till now, but I couldn't hold it anymore. I buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one would find him. You don't have the key to the room, I just want to wash my hands of the whole thing forever. Oh, shit. I got the key to the room that was bloody in the catacomb. Wonderful. I just can't believe it. The man warned him. He had his... He had Darby... Or he and Darby were best friends and he killed poor Mr. Holloran. Why? 
Why would he do that? They were best friends. They never mentioned in school that he was a murderer. They only said the nicest things about him, how he helped to tame this wild land, and how, thanks to him, our town existed. Oh boy. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.